A top story is from Pakistan, where the Pakistan army has hinted at a military trial for former Prime Minister Imran Khan with a warning that using military personnel for political or, po or personal gains will invite legal action against him. Now, this comes after the jailed PTI founder on Tuesday petitioned the Islamabad High Court against his possible military custody for the trials in connection with the May 9th cases. Now, responding to a question in a media briefing about the potential military trial for Imran Khan, military spokesman Lieutenant General Emma Sharif Chaudhary outlined the conditions under which a civilian could be tried under military law. Now, speculations about Imran Khan gained ground after he moved High Court amid concerns that he might be implicated in the May 9th violence. Imran's worries mounted after the speculation that arrested former ISI chief Faiz Hamid could turn an approver against him. Meanwhile, in a setback for Imran Khan, Pakistan's Supreme Court restored changes to the country's anti-graft laws, accepting the federal government's appeal against the court's September 15th verdict, which struck down those amendments. In September of 2023, the PTI founder had challenged the changes to the National Accountability Bureau laws introduced by the then PMLN-led government. Now, the court said Imran Khan failed to prove that the NAB amendments were in violation of the Constitution. Now, uh, the amendments to the law included reducing the term of the Bureau Chairman and Prosecutor General to three years, limiting NAB's jurisdictions to cases involving over 500 million Pakistani rupees and transferring all pending inquiries, investigations and trials to the relevant authorities. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.